Good evening, Sams. Good evening. Welcome to the presence of the Lord. Here we are again. Thank God for his mercies. Thank God for his grace. Thank God for his love. We give praise to God. Welcome, Shaman. Welcome. I can see two other people on YouTube as well. You are most welcome. Presence of God is beautiful. And here we are. Where two or three are gathered together in one mind. The Lord is there. So shall we start? Shall we start? And um, Excuse me. <clears throat> Let's read our text for today so we can use it and meditate. Deuteronomy 15. Deuteronomy 15. I would love it if you can read it later to the end, but I'll just I'll just try and you know I'll read it from verse one to verse eleven as I as I showed there. All right. Deuteronomy 15, 1 to 11, I will read now. And at the end of every seven years, you shall grant a release of debts. And this is the form of the release. Every creditor who has lent anything to his neighbor shall release it. He shall not require it of his neighbor or his brother because it is called the Lord's release. Of a foreigner, you may require it, but you shall give up your claim to what is owed by your brother, except when there may be no poor among you, for the Lord will greatly bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess as an inheritance. And here is the condition, verse 5. Only if you carefully obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe with care all these commandments which I command you today. For the Lord your God will bless you just as he promised. He won't fail, but you have to meet the conditions. He will bless you just as he promised you. You shall, you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. You shall reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over you. If there is among you a poor man of your brethren within any of the gates in your land, which the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not harden your heart nor shut your hand from your poor brother. But you shall open your hand wide to him and willingly lend him sufficient for his need, whatever he needs. Beware, lest there be a wicked thought in your heart saying, mm, the seventh day, I'm oh, sorry, sorry, the seventh year, the year of release is, is at hand. And your eye be evil against your poor brother, and you give him nothing, and he cry out to the Lord against you, and it and it become sin among you. You shall surely give to him, and your heart should not be grieved when you give to him, because for this thing the Lord your God will bless you in all your works and in all to which you put your hand. Verse 11, for the poor will never cease from the land. Therefore, I command you saying, you shall open your hand wide to your brother, to your poor and your needy in your land. Okay, so we've got that. Hello, Pastor Lisa, welcome. Um, let's just jump from that Deuteronomy 15 and let's go to Genesis chapter 1. 
Genesis 1, just two verses or three verses rather, verse 26 to verse 28, talking about um, fruitfulness and no barrenness. This blessing from the Lord tonight is all about blessing. And I mean, it's our, we are, you know, praying into our destiny, our future. So Genesis 1 from 26. Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the bird of the earth, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over, over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female. He created them. Verse 28. Then God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. So that's our mandate. That's our uh jurisdiction of rule and reign that's our area where we represent God himself in this world he, had, he created us to be like him and to have authority over the things he created not over human beings to human beings we should be a blessing because God is a blessing to us and he's and he specifically says in that uh, Deuteronomy 15 it says um, in the in verse from two, let's two and three. It says, "This is the form of the release. Every creditor who has lent anything to his neighbor shall release it. He shall not require it of his neighbor or his brother, because it is called the Lord's release." So God has called us to be a blessing unto our people but listen to verse 3 of a foreigner what the holy spirit is revealing to me in that word foreigner is the thief is the one that that breaks in is the one the enemy that comes to steal kill destroy god said uh, i don't release to him of a foreigner you may require it what the enemy has taken from you all these days take it back require Take your your inheritance back from the enemy. Don't 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 give them any chance to steal from you, to kill, to 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 devour. God says, take care of your brothers, take care of the people around you. But the one that comes in and wants to take over, you should take from him. Of a foreigner, just for me, that word foreigner is replaced with the enemy. The enemy of your progress, the the person that uh, the the don't forget what we are we are fighting is not flesh and blood. So we are not talking about human beings here. You have to see that the only thing that stops you from progress is the enemy. He can use people around you, but those people are not the people stopping you. They don't have that power. It's the enemy of a foreigner. You may require it. So require of the enemy your uh, your inheritance tonight. Uh, but you shall give up your claim to what is owed by your brother. The, that means uh, uh, like uh, the body of Christ. We are, we, are, we are one body in Christ. So see it in the spiritual sense. The body of Christ. We are there for each other. People that we call family and friends in the Lord. You care for them. You take care of them. But the one that comes in that wants to steal, like like the wedding, the the story of the the wedding feast, that the the owner of the wedding gave wedding garments to everybody he invited, but one person tried to sneak in, he was cast out. So this is what we are calling the foreigner, the foreigner. You are you are not allowed to condone the foreigner. You are not allowed to to entertain the foreigner. The enemy must leave. Demons must be cast out. You don't play with them. You don't condone, condone, condone them. The enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy. Only Jesus comes that we might have 
and abundance. And this is what God is promising us today. In verse 5, it says, oh, let me just read from 4. He said, except when there may be no poor. So that it can happen that all your family members are well to do. You don't need to lend to them. So that's what it means. Except when there may be no poor among you. For the Lord will greatly bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess as an inheritance. That's what we must always remember. Everything we have is an inheritance. We are children of God. We are not working for what we have. We inherit what we have. That's why we can be liberal. We can be generous because we, as, as God has given us, we give out. He give us more. We give out. So that's, that's the Christian life. And verse 5 says, only if, so you will possess, let me go back to 4, 4 verse B. You will, uh, for the Lord will greatly bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess as an inheritance only. So this is the condition. Only if you carefully obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe with care. So you can see the word carefully twice there. You carefully obey to observe with care all these commandments which I command you today. So it's not just um, a given. You have to do your part. If you do this and meet the condition, then the Lord has already. And that's what verse 6 says. For the Lord your God will bless you just as he promised. God has given you his word. You don't have to beg for it. It's there. The earth was created before you came. But we are not meeting the conditions. That's why we are lacking. So the word today is reminding us to meet the conditions so that we can walk in our inheritance. For the Lord your God will bless you just as he promised you. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. He will sufficiently meet your needs. There will be no barrenness. You will be fruitful in all you do. He will meet all your needs. You, you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. You shall reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over you. So that is sufficiency. That, that is kingdom. That is sonship. You inherit, you rule, you reign, you are sufficient in all that you need because God has given his word. All we need to do is to meet the conditions. And that's why we are here at this midnight prayers to for the word of God to remind us of who we are and to remind of, of us of what is uh, ours, what is ours, because we, we ignorantly give our portion to the enemy. You just give to any poor person. You see, God is saying, don't do that. Find out who is your, you know, who, what, where is the body of Christ? What Because when you bless where God has not blessed, you are just throwing your money away. So we have to understand what is God saying. Don't cheat on your brother. Give freely and liberally to your brother, but not to the enemy. Of the foreigner, verse 3, of a foreigner you may require. If, if if he came and he stayed with you and he and he stole from you, he took anything from you, take it back. Take it back. So once we do what we need to do, God has already given his word to do the rest. And it is midnight. And so let us lift our voices up and say, Lord, do as you say. Only fruitfulness, no barrenness in this season for your glory. In the name of Jesus, Marco Asarata, Eskalama Sanctum, Aziba, Aziba, Ariga, Roda, Azakata. Thank you, Jesus. Chalelakai, Chalelakai, Chalelakai. Parodege, 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 Espera de Deas. Marco Sarata, Aziba, Aziba, Ariga, Roda, Zakata, Santaramashe. Santara Mashe, Santara Mashe, Santara Mashe, Escalama Sanctum, Aziba, 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 Arigaroda, Azakata, Zakata, 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 Katnderibo, 
Kanderibo Mako Sarata Aziga Aziga Arigaroda Azakata Chelela Kai Chelela Kai Chelela Kai Mako Sarata Sandara Mashe Sandara Mashe Sandara Mashe Arigaroda Zakata Rigaroda Zakata Kandiaribo 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 Mako Sarata Chelela Kai Chelela Kai Chelela Kai Aziba 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 Roda Marco Asarata, Arigaroda Azakata, Sandaramashe, Sandaramashe Escalama Santum, Iagada Azegede, Azakata Asamare, Sandaramashe Escalama Santum, Ariga, Ariga, Arigaroda Azakata, Chelela Kai, Marco Asarata, Zakata Asamare, Ariga, Ariga, Arigaroda Azakata, Chelela Kaya. Escalama Sanctum, Parodege Esperade Deas, Parodege, 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 Marco Asarata, Mamabo Azakata, fruitfulness, fruitfulness, no barrenness, because the Lord has promised it. We cannot be barren. We inherit our father's uh, uh, portion, our father's uh, uh, estate. Our father is a rich man. He owns the world. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, is our Father, and we are the body of Christ. That's why we have to take care of each other. But the enemy, we must take from him what he stole from us. That's how he stole from Adam and Eve. At the beginning, God created man in his image, gave Adam and Eve total dominion and power over the earth realm, but the enemy, the foreigner, came in and stole their inheritance and caused them to start to, 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 to uh, uh, labor, start to, to, to um, work hard for where they should not have worked hard, caused them to, to, to just be digging hard ground. We are not here to dig hard ground. We are here to inherit. We are here to inherit. If only we will understand, if only we will meet the conditions we are here to inherit because we were made in the image of God. We are here to rule and reign, priests and kings of the Most High God. Marco Asarata, Escalama Sanctum, Aziba, Aziba, Ariga, Roda. Priests and kings don't toil. Priests and kings don't toil. They, 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 they just enjoy the work of their hands. They rule and they reign and they live from their 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 efforts the work that they do and and especially uh, priests and kings in the kingdom of god we are called to be holy we are called to be perfect that's why it says we must meet the conditions mamabo azakata azegede azakata we cannot be like the the foreigner we cannot behave like the enemy we cannot treat the father's house as if we are just going to take and run take and run that's not what it means. It means Father's house belong to us. His house is our house. We go about Father's business and we eat from Father's house. We don't need to toil. We don't need to, to, to behave like hirelings. When the wolf comes, we run. No, we stand there. We have authority. We have power. We are rulers. We are kings. We are priests in the kingdom of God. Marco Asarata. And everything that God orders, he pays for. We don't have to be afraid. We don't have to, to, to fidget. We don't have to behave as orphans because Jesus says we are not orphans. Mama Bozakata, Eskalama Sanctum, Azibaba Arigaroda Azakata, Chelela Kai, Chelela Kai, Kandiaribo, Kandiaribo Marco Sarata, Azegede, Azegede, Azegede. We will be productive in everything that we do. We will be productive in our lives. We will have so much that it will not hurt us to give to anybody. We will have so much that we will give willingly. We will give freely. Because the Lord says there in verse, in verse um, 8, he says, But you shall open your hand wide, to him and willingly lend sufficient for his need, whatever he needs. 
when there is a poor person among the brethren, we should learn to be to be uh, uh, free, to be to be to to be uh, uh, generous to them. And he says, beware, verse nine of Deuteronomy fifteen. Beware lest they be weak, uh, a wicked thought in your heart. In this case, the seventh year, you everybody the the the, the um, creditors were supposed to release the, the people working for them or owing to them. So he says, don't if if you meet somebody in the sixth year and they have a need. And, and you say, hmm, I'm going to give this person all this, and in one year I'm going to forfeit it. The, that's what the Lord says there in verse 9 of Deuteronomy 15. Beware lest there be a wicked thought in your heart saying, the seventh year, the, the seventh year of release it is at hand, and your eye be evil against your pro, poor brother, and you give him nothing. Don't say, oh, um, we, he's just taking it, and I, I know I'll never see him again. Is he a brother? That is the question. Is he the, in the body of Christ? Is he in the family? He, he, is he part of the kingdom, or is he a foreigner? Is he an enemy? Is he a thief? Is, is he just coming to steal from you and run? God says, don't. Don't, don't, don't hold back. Don't hold back. Give to them. Let your eye not be evil. Jesus used it in the parable. He said, "Is your eye evil because I'm generous? <laughs> I want to give. What is what is it your trouble? How how is it bothering you that I'm giving? So don't let your eye be evil against your brother, and give him nothing. And because if he cries out to the Lord against you." It, uh, it will become sin among you. And God doesn't want that. See, God wants us ahead of time. He wants us. Only that we don't know. So we miss it. He says, you, you shall surely give to him and your heart should not be grieved. Don't, if you give, give. Don't, 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 don't give a little like children. Shall I or shall I not? Either you give or you don't give. But God is saying, if you bless somebody, in my name, in my name. This is a fellow Christian. This is somebody in the body of Christ. You bless them in the name of Jesus with a free heart. God says, you know, you will have your reward. He says, don't let your heart be grieved when you give to him. Because for this thing, the Lord your God will bless you. If you give it freely, the Lord your God will bless you in all your works. And in all to which you put your hand to. That's what Jesus says. Give and it shall be given. I know we miss this thing a lot. Because the enemy wants us to think that when you give somebody a pound, you lose a pound. That's the, the biggest lie ever. You are sowing a seed and it has to yield. If you are not giving to the enemy that, that wants to take your hand. If you know you are blessing a fellow kingdom citizen, then God himself is going to open doors for you that you didn't even think possible. The Lord your God will bless you in all your works and in all to which you put your hand. Verse 11, for the poor will never cease. You will always have people that are needy. God put them there to see what, whether we believe his word. Jesus said it, the poor you will always have. You shall open your hand wide to your brother, to your poor, and your needy in your land. Father, we come in the name of Jesus and we ask for a heart that is full of love. We ask for a heart that is generous. Lord, we ask for a heart that is free giving, like you freely gave yourself to us. The Father freely gave his Son to us. The Son freely gave himself to us. The Holy Spirit is still here giving himself to us. So, Lord, teach us to be givers. Lord, teach us to be givers because the more we give, the more we are blessed. Marco Sarata, Escalama Sanctum, Azibaba Arigaroda Azakata, Santaramashe, 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 Escalama Sanctum, 
Azegede, azegede, azegede. Father, take away the poverty mentality from us. Lord, take away the poverty mentality from us in the name of Jesus so that we can represent you well, so that we can be true kingdoms, uh, children of the kingdom. According to verse 6, you shall lend to many nations, but you shall borrow, but you shall not borrow. You shall reign over many nations but they shall not reign over you. Santa Ramashe, we are kings and we are priests and we are rulers. We reign over our father's kingdom. Marco Asarata, Escalama Santum, Aziba, Aziba, Arigaroda, Azakata, Chelelakai, 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 Aziba, Aziba, Arigaroda, Azakata, Kandiaribo, 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 Marco Asarata. Aziga, 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 Ariga Roda Azakata, Sandara Mashe, Sandara Mashe, Sandara Mashe, Marco Sarata, Ariga Roda Zakata, Kandiaribo, 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 Mama Bozakata, Mama Bozakata, Father, give us a generous spirit, give us a generous heart. We are open to you. We want you to bless us. Why would we not want to bless others? Lord, help us. Jesus says, as you are forgiven, so you must forgive others. The same thing, as you are blessed, so you must bless others. Marco, Sarah, everything comes from God. The heart to forgive comes from God. The heart to give comes from God. You see, those two words, forgive and give, they work together. If everything we have is from the Father and he gives he gives so well. He for God so loved the world that he gave. He gave, he knows even how to give to his enemies. So let us even learn to give to our brothers, to give to the people of the kingdom, so that the kingdom can grow. Because it will not be it won't go out of the kingdom. It's like a household, like he says, except there's among you in verse 4, except where when there, there may be no poor among you. So if everyone is rich and doing well, there, there's no animosity, there's no, then everybody's doing well. And everything comes from the Father. Marco Sarata, Escalama Santum, Amamabo, 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 Azakata, Chelelakai, 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 Santaramashe, Escalama Santum. Lord, teach us to, to release our hands. Let us not keep our hands tight. When we are open, when we give to others, you will give to us. Lord, teach us so that we, you can bless us. Because when we, do, we don't know how to open our hands, hands, how will you bless us? And how will we represent you? How will we reign over people? How will we, we, we be fruitful and multiply like you told us? Lord, we curse barrenness. And we and we welcome fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Teach us to meet the conditions. Teach us to meet the conditions because when we meet your conditions, your promise is sure forever. We must carefully obey the voice of the Lord our God, and He tells us to be generous tonight. We must carefully obey the voice of the Lord our God to observe with care all these commandments which. I command you today, for the Lord your God will bless you just as he promised uh, you. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. You shall reign over many nations, but you shall not. They shall not reign over you. Father, teach us to be kings. Marco Sarata. No king has a petty mind. Mama Boazakata. That king must be from the pit of hell if his mind is petty. Sandaramashe. The king is, 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 is profound, he's exuberant, he's, he's, he's abundant in what he does. Marco Sarata, Father, give us the mind of a king. Give us the mind of rulers. Let us know that we can never lack in the name of Jesus. Take away poverty mentality from us in the name of Jesus. Let us know that we are children of the Most High God and we are walking in our inheritance. Only God open our eyes to see. That is why we are here burning the midnight hour into our future, into our destiny, so that we can see where the Lord is leading us. 
Marco Salata, so that we will not behave like the hidden. We will not behave like 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 the the foreigner. The, you know, we won't have the, their mentality. We will have the mentality of a king. We are rich in the Lord Jesus. He became poor for our sake, so that we can be rich like him. Mama Zakata. He took away our sin so that we can be sinless. He took away our poverty so that we can be rich in him. If only we will meet the condition. If only we will understand that we are in this world, but we, are, we don't belong in this world. If only we can understand that we are citizens of heaven. Marco Sarata. Things will happen that you never thought possible. So don't look at your physical conditions. We are too fixed on the physical condition. Say, Lord, pick me up, pick me up, raise me up to, to, the, to the eagle eye perspective. Let me see what you see. Let me see from your level because we are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. What does Jesus see when he looks at me? Does he see me as a poor beggar? Never, ever, ever. Marco Asarata, Escalama Sanctum. Aziba, Aziba, Arigaroda, Azakata, Chelelakai. Let me teach me to see myself, Lord, as you see me. I am blessed. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am a king, the child of a king. I rule and reign. What a privilege to be called a co heir with Jesus. Marco Sarata, Escalama Sanctum. Aziba, Aziba, Arigaroda, Azakata. But I have to learn to behave like him. I have to have his mentality. The, for God to love the world that he gave, he gave his son. Jesus did not, you know, uh, 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 think it robbery, becoming a man when he was God. Because he loved us so much, he came to pay that price. So we cannot behave as though we are losing anything when we are acting in the position of Christ for another human being. Marco Sarata. Azegede, Azegede, Azakata. Father, change our mentality so that the doors to our future will open up. Marco Sarata. We have to meet the conditions so that we can receive the, the right key to the right doors. Mamabo Azakata. Eskalama Sanctum. We refuse. We refuse to remain where the enemy uh, uh, plan to keep us. <laughs> the enemy plan to keep Jesus in the grave. Little did he know that the you know Jesus is far above all principalities and power. Marco Asarata. He could not keep Jesus in the grave. He cannot put you where he wants. You are here to rule over the enemy. You are supposed to rule over them, and they shall not rule over you, according to verse six of Deuteronomy fifteen. Mamabo Azakata. Eskalama Sanctum, Ariga Roda, Riga Roda, Riga Roda, Azakata, Chelela Kai, Chelela Kai, Chelela Kai, Chelela Kai, Espera de Deasa, Santaramashe, 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 Marco Sarata, Zegede, 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 Zakata, Zegede, 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 Zakata, Zegede, 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 Zakata, 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 Samare, Marco Sarata. Santaramashe Eskalama Sanctum. Aziba, Aziba, Aziba Roda, Azakata. Chelela Kai, Chelela Kai, Chelela. Father, remove the, the blindfold. Remove the lies, the blindfold of all the lies that the enemy has, has taught us from childhood through mis, misrepresentation of, of, of the kingdom of heaven. Father, remove it, remove it, remove it from our heart, remove it from our mind, remove it, remove it, Lord. Let the fire of God burn away every misconception, every wrong teaching in the name of Jesus. Lord, open our eyes to your word, your true word in the name of Jesus. We have the Bible to read for ourselves. Lord, take us, take us as we burn this midnight hour. Take us to the places that you want us to. To, that you know will open us up to your truth in our lives. We have to see ourselves the way you see us. You created us in your image, in your likeness, to rule and reign on your behalf here on earth, to be fruitful and to, and to multiply. Yes, Satan came and lied, 
but that is what Jesus came to change. So we cannot keep living as though we are still under the lie of Satan. Jesus came to pay the price. He bought us back. The blood of Jesus flows through our veins because we are children of the same household. We are siblings with Jesus. He brought us back into the family with his blood. He caused us to be siblings again. He caused us to be children of God again. We are born of the spirit of God and there is freedom wherever we are. There is no, no limitation in the Holy Ghost. Mama Bo Azakata is Kalama Sanctum. Lord, teach us, help us to see who we are, that we are children of the Most High God, born of the Holy Ghost. We are free. We are free. We are free to be who you want us to be. We are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. We are not beggars. Marco Sarata. Eskalama Sanctum. Azibaba Arigaroda Azakata. Sandarama She Eskalama Sanctum. The Lord God said, let us make man in our image. How are you showing the world that you are in God's image? How much of God's personality are you displaying to the world around you? That is Genesis chapter 1, the beginning of the Bible. Let help makes us understand that we are children of God, that we are made in his image according to his likeness. How much are we like God? Aziba, Aziba, Ariga, Roda, Zakata, Chelelakai, Mamabo, Azakata, Ariga, Roda, Azakata. Father, help us to display your glory. Help us to truly be the living Jesus. When people look at us, let them perceive like the like the elders perceived on the on uh, when when Peter and John healed the sick that they perceived they had been with Jesus. Father, let people perceive, let them know that these ones are different. These ones are not doing the the usual religion they have been hearing about. Father, cause us, cause us because we are we have positioned ourselves during these midnight hours before you. We come before the king and we take on the oil, the anointing for prosperity. Marco Sarata, we receive the anointing. Mama Bo Azakata, we receive the anointing for prosperity in the name of Jesus to be fruitful. We, we curse barrenness within our walls. We, we declare like Jabez, oh, that you will bless us indeed. And you would... It extend our territory. Lord, increase us more than we can think or imagine as we stand in your presence, as we position ourselves during these midnight hours to, to be anointed with the anointing of fruitfulness, to be anointed for prosperity in the name of Jesus. Aziba, Aziba, Arigaroda, Azakata. Chelelakai, Chelelakai, Chelelakai. Let us put on Christ Jesus. Let us understand that as he is, so are we in this world. As Jesus is, so are we. Marco Asarata, beautiful, generous, loving, kind, forgiving. In every way, we have to seek to be like God because he says when we meet the conditions, he has already given his promise. Santa Ramasha. Santa Ramasha is Kalama Sanctum. Azegede, 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 Azagata anointing for prosperity. Let us, you know, position ourselves. Let the oil for, for prosperity flow. Let the oil for fruitfulness flow. No barrenness, no barrenness. No, we curse barrenness. We curse poverty. Marco Asarata, our father owns the whole world. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Father, we cannot represent you when we cannot look like you. And, and, and like you say, you created us in your image and in your likeness. How can we represent you if we are not in your image and in your likeness? Lord, help us to see who we are, that we are created in your image and we have to look like you. Like father, like child, like father, like child, like father, like child. Father, we receive we receive that mantle. We receive that covering that will make us look like Jesus. Aziba, Aziba, Arigaroda, Azakata. Santaramashe, 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 Escalama Sanctum. 
Father, we want to represent you well. We don't want people to ask us, where is now your God? You've been talking about this God. You've been serving this, this Jesus. You've been doing this, this Jesus thing. What is the evidence? Moses asked the Lord. He said, you are telling me to bring these people out. What will be the marked difference? What will set us apart? What will show that we are different from the rest of the world? Father, make us different because we want to be different. Marco Asarata. Es kalama santum aziba aziba arigaroda santaramashe 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 es kalama santum aziba aziba aziba. It is not by might, it is not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Holy Spirit, we depend on you. Holy Spirit, show us the way. Speak to us in dreams. Speak to us in visions. Enlighten us, O God. Give us a new heart. Give us a heart that is loving. Give us a heart that is kind. Give us a generous spirit. Marco Asarata. How can we ask for the anointing for prosperity when we don't have a generous spirit? David says, my cup runs over. They're running over. All that excess, where is it going? It is for those who are in need because we will always have enough. Mama bo zakata. Ariga roda zakata. Chelela kai, chelela kai, chelela kai. Lord, open our eyes to see the, the way you are leading us. This is our destiny. We are praying into our destiny. Lord, open our eyes to see. We take the keys like you gave the keys to Peter. Lord, show us the right door and the right that, uh, so that we can put the right key in the right keyhole. Marco Sarata, so that every time we put the key, the doors will open because we have a master key. We have a master key. Once we walk with you, the doors that you are meant for us to open will always open in the name of Jesus. Father, we have to be different. Father, we have to be different because we have to represent you well. We have to walk in your spirit. We have to put on Christ. People have to see the difference between us and them. Father, I refuse. I, Victoria, I refuse to be like the unbeliever. I refuse to be like the unbeliever. I refuse it in the name of Jesus. I put on Christ. I must look like Christ. I am a Christian. So I must look like Christ in the name of Jesus. Marco Sarata. Azegede, 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 Azakata. Let any let the world be who they want to be. I want to be Christ in this world. Mama Bo Zakata. Eskalama Santum. Father, we thank you. Thank you for the anointing for prosperity. Thank you for changing our mindset. Thank you for leading us into those open doors that you have left for us. Thank you for this time that you have given to us to come to you so that you can show us the path of righteousness, so that you can show us the way of life. Mama Bozakata, according to Psalm 16 verse 11, you will show us the path of life because in your presence is fullness of joy and at your right and our pleasures. What kind of kings don't have pleasure? Marco Sarata, Father, we, we walk in full pleasure because we are in your presence. We walk in joy. We are generous. We are givers and we are blessers and we are being blessed. We, you cannot be a blesser if you have not been blessed. You told Abraham, I will bless you so that you can be a blessing to the world. Father, we receive that Abrahamic blessing tonight in Christ Jesus. The fulfillment of that was in Christ Jesus. So, Lord, we receive it and we thank you. We receive your blessing on our lives and we receive the, the grace to be generous in the name of Jesus. As he is, so are we in this world. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We bless you. I thank you, my friends and everybody who will be watching later. I know it's midnight. Everybody cannot stay awake. So I release the blessing of God over you today. As Jesus is, so are we in this world. We refuse to be like the rest of the world because we are children of the Most High God. We are citizens of heaven and it must be done here on earth for us as it is in heaven. 
And those are the words of Jesus himself. So we take it and we put it on. And we say, thank you, Father, for blessing us. Thank you for wanting to use us to bless the people around us. So, Lord, do exactly as you have promised. And Holy Spirit, empower us to fulfill the conditions because you have already given your word. And before we go, I declare over us that the blood of Jesus is our refuge, that the light of the Holy Spirit is our shield, and the love of the Father is a permanent firewall of protection around us, now and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you, Pastor Lisa. Thank you for being there faithfully. Thank you, my dear friend Marcia. Thank you for the ones whose names I can't read. God bless you. And we'll see you again same time in the next 24 hours. Mwah. Love you. Jesus loves you more. Bye for now. <laughs>